Hey GED students, I had a student on Facebook struggling with composite shape problems when they involved rectangular composite shapes. So that just means a shape that's made of rectangles. And indeed you can see that's the case here. If you kind of just like divided this sucker up with your eyeballs, you would see that this composite shape, this um, put together, this built shape is built using rectangles, okay? So the composite shape below is formed with rectangles and we've been asked to find its perimeter. So I'll just remind you that when you're dealing with composite shapes, you're gonna wanna know the definition of perimeter. So a perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. Think of it like a fence around it or walking around the outside of a shape. Okay, so if I were going to find the perimeter here, I'd just be, you know, walking along the outside of this shape to find the total distance that I walked. Really easy to do, you know, just add up all the sides. But the problem is, and it often is with these type of problems, sometimes they'll make it so you don't know the measurements of the sides. Let me show you what I mean. Take a look, we have one, oh no, two unlabeled sides this time. This side right here is unlabeled. I don't know how many inches it is. And this guy's a little tricky. This one's a little trickier than the last one if you watched my last video on this, okay? Um, but here's what I do know. I want you to imagine that um, I had complete total rectangles here. I'm just gonna just draw this out and let's imagine like I didn't have these holes here, but I had this whole thing filled in and it was one big rectangle. Can you imagine? If you did that, uh, you could see that this side and this side would be congruent. They would be equal in length because opposite sides of a rectangle are always equal in length. So this is interesting because one of these sides, I know how long it is. Uh, that's this one. Let me show you. I know how long this piece is. This piece is 12 inches. It's marked. And you might say, well, Kate, I don't know how long this piece is. And I say, yes, you do. Because look, it's part of a smaller rectangle. Now, you did might not have noticed this rectangle because only half of it was drawn. But now that I've drawn the whole big rectangle in the background, you can see that if this side is 11 inches, this side must also be 11 inches. Now, the student who sent me this problem was saying they were really struggling. They didn't know when to add and when to subtract. Well, you can see here that I know each individual pieces, the two smaller pieces, 11 inches and 12 inches. Uh, so I can see then that the total length all the way from here to here must be 11 plus 12 or 23 inches. Now you might say, well, Kate, how is that gonna help me? Well, if that side of the rectangle is 23 inches, this side must also be. 23 inches. Now, again, we only know part of it, right? We know like, mm, let me draw this line here. So right here, this side must also be 23 inches. Okay. Um, so we only know part of it, like this is the part we want to know how long it is, uh, but we actually know how long this piece is. This piece right here is 17 inches. So how long is the remaining piece? Well, if you take the total, 23, break off the piece we don't want, 17 inches. The rest of it will be the remaining piece. So that little sucker is six inches long. That was pretty tricky, but I want you to notice what I used. I used all the parallel pieces. All the pieces that were running in the same direction helped me. So when I was looking for the, an up and down measurement, I used the other measurements that were running up and down either adding them to find a total or subtracting them to break down a total, okay? Okay, so we just found out that piece was six inches long, so let me erase all this messiness. And now let's try the other missing side. So where is that pen? Let's put this as six inches so we don't forget. Okay, so now I'm looking for the other side. So let's just pick out a different color this time so we can see it. I'm looking for a side that runs left-right this time. So when I look at that side, I'm going to look at all the other left-right sides. And again, if I were to just kind of draw this in as a full rectangle, 
I could see that if this side is 27 inches, this entire length must also be 27 inches because opposite sides of rectangles are congruent. They're the same length, right? Okay, we might say, Kate, I don't need that whole piece. No, you don't. You need the 27 inches, take away this piece and take away that piece. Well, how long are those two pieces? Well, again, we have that opposite sides of rectangles. See how this part is seven? Well, guess what? Then this part is also seven. And see how this part is 12? Well, then guess what? This part is also 12. So I can take that total, the whole big length, take off the two pieces I don't need. I'll take off the seven, I'll subtract it. And take off the 12, I'll subtract it. And after I take away the two pieces I don't need, what is remaining will be the length that I do need. So 27 minus the seven minus the 12 will give me the length of this remaining piece, eight inches. Great. So now that I found my two missing sides, six inches and eight inches, it's easy to find the perimeter of this rectangle. I'm just gonna add up all the sides. So let me clear out my work here. So oh, that's not an eraser. So I have room. And again, the perimeter we said was the distance around a shape. So we can just add up all the sides. So let's do that. Oh, where shall we start? Let's use a different color so we don't mess up. We'll add the eight inches plus that six inch side we found, plus the seven, plus the 17. Notice how anal I am to make sure I get all the sides because the biggest mistake I see is students forgetting sides. Plus 27, plus 12, plus another 12, plus another, another 11. See how my green closed up? I went all the way around this. And so I have all the sides, so let's go ahead and add those up. I am gonna count though because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Okay. Eight plus six plus seven plus, and I was just counting to make sure that I didn't miss a side, you guys, because like I said, I see so many students do the hard work right and then make a silly little mistake like forgetting a side. And I get that this is 100 inches. Awesome. Okay, so... Um, we found the perimeter of this composite shape as well. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.